Hey pharmacists! Today we're diving deep into one of the most popular cholesterol-lowering medications worldwide, atorvastatin. The brand name of this drug, Lipitor, is known as one of the best-selling prescription drugs of all time. We'll explore what it does, how it works, and what patients should know before starting it. We'll also talk about muscle pain too. So let's get started. What is atorvastatin used for? Atorvastatin is an oral medication used to treat high cholesterol. Keeping cholesterol in check is crucial because it can help prevent heart disease, strokes, and heart attacks. Cholesterol itself isn't bad. It's actually essential for the body's normal functions. However, it's all about the balance between the different types of cholesterol. LDL cholesterol is also known as the bad cholesterol because high levels can build up in blood vessels and block blood flow to the heart and to the brain leading to a heart attack or stroke. HDL cholesterol is the good cholesterol that helps remove excess cholesterol, taking it back to the liver to be flushed out. Atorvastatin helps to lower LDL cholesterol, can help increase HDL levels. How does atorvastatin work? Statins work in the liver where cholesterol is made by blocking an enzyme called HMG-CoA reductase. That's why statins are also known as HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor. By blocking this enzyme, statins reduce the amount of cholesterol made by the liver, which then helps to lower the amount of LDL that's already in the blood. Overall, atorvastatin lowers the LDL and can help increase HDL, which is beneficial for overall heart health. How to take atorvastatin? Atorvastatin comes in four strengths, 10, 20, 40, and 80 milligrams. It's taken once daily with or without food, ideally at the same time each day. You may have heard that statin should be taken in the evening, and that's because the body makes most of the cholesterol at night. However, with the Torvastatin, since it has a long half-life, it can be taken at any time of the day that's best for the patient. If a patient misses a dose, they should take it as soon as they remember, unless it's been more than 12 hours. In that case, it's best to skip the missed dose and continue with the next dose to avoid doubling up. What are the side effects? Most people tolerate atorvastatin well, but like all medications, it does have some potential side effects. The most common ones are mild and include gastrointestinal issues like diarrhea, constipation and gas, headaches, dizziness, and muscle pain or myalgia. Now let's talk about muscle pain. This is one of the most commonly reported side effects of statins. However, evidence suggests that patients may feel this way because they expect to feel this symptom, also known as the nocebo effect. Statin-related muscle pain, if it does happen, usually happens within the first four to six weeks after starting a statin and tends to show up on both sides of the body in large muscles like the legs and the back. This side effect is generally dose dependent, so higher doses may increase the risk of muscle pain. The good news is that muscle pain usually goes away if the statin therapy is stopped, and switching to another statin can help if symptoms are persistent. How about any drug interactions? Atorvastatin is broken in the liver by an enzyme called CYP3A4. Certain medications and substances can interfere with this enzyme, potentially increasing atorvastatin levels in the body, and the risk of side effects, particularly muscle pain, which we just spoke about, can occur. If a patient recently started atorvastatin and they notice muscle aches, it might be worth looking into possible drug interactions. Important precautions to be aware of. Before starting atorvastatin, patients should inform their healthcare provider if they have a history of liver or kidney problems, muscle pain or weakness, thyroid issues, or if they drink three or more alcoholic drinks daily. Monitoring atorvastatin. We typically monitor cholesterol levels and may adjust the dose of atorvastatin based on how the patient is responding. In rare cases, atorvastatin can lead to more serious side effects such as liver enzyme changes or increased blood sugar. So regular check-ins are important to keep everything in balance. Wrapping up. I hope this overview helps you better understand how to take atorvastatin what to watch out for, and how to take it safely and properly. If you have questions about other medications or want more details on something specific, let me know in the comments. And if you want to learn some fun facts about atorvastatin, check out my video about that. I've linked it in the description below. Until next time, stay well and see you next time. Bye pharmacists.